First question is from Jesse McDonough. Is the muscle building signal you send when you perform resistance training specific to only the muscles you train or can it have an overall effect on the body? I recently sustained a knee injury and can't do lower body training, but I am trying to preserve muscle. It's largely specific, but there is a proven systemic muscle building effect. In fact, they do. They, there's some interesting studies where they have people train mm -hmm. one arm um, and not the other arm, and most of the muscle and strength gains go to that arm that's being trained. But they do there's see still growth. Yeah, they still see some muscle and strength gain a little bit uh, in the opposite arm that wasn't trained at all. So there is this systemic effect. Now this is also uh, supported by you know, lots of people's experience with certain exercises. Some exercises seem to send a louder full body signal. For example, a barbell squat or a deadlift. You know, I know with clients, I've had clients add deadlifts to the routine and get stronger at, you know, tricep extensions and curls uh, as a result of, of getting stronger at this big, loud signal exercise like a deadlift. Same thing with squats. It was said back in the day that if you you want bigger arms, you should squat more. Um, and I think there's a little bit of truth to that because these exercises use so much muscle mm -hmm. and so much skill and require so much from the central nervous system that, yeah, you do get, you know, a lot of the gains go specifically to the body parts being worked, but there is a, a systemic effect that happens. Do you think that's just your, because you're still investing in the CNS? You know what I'm saying? Like you're still putting, you're still putting an effort to develop that. It's right? got to be part of it. It right? has to be part of it. I mean, if that if that's yeah. the if that's the hub of communication to all of your muscles, right, sure. from the brain that says fire, move, and do all this, and if you just stop working out completely, not only do muscles atrophy, but I also would think that that neurological communication starts to slow down or weaken. Right. And so, even though you may not have a good connection to the injury muscle that we're talking about right now you still are strengthening the hub of communication. Yeah. Like Plus that's how there's, it, yeah, there's an irradiation effect to that, meaning like where I'm trying to stabilize my body while the other allowing the freedom for one part of my body to do the movement, but stay anchored, stay grounded, stay stable. Uh, so that that isometric tension is also something that builds muscle. And I, I can't help but think too, that's going to play a factor in uh, that overall signal affecting other parts of your body. Yeah, they do studies too too, where people will think about a movement and not actually perform the movement, and they have improvements in the movement. Yeah, you know, they've done, there's old studies with like people thinking about shooting free throws, for example. They, they don't shoot any actual free throws, but they, they go through in their mind and shoot them, and they see an improvement in their skill and ability. So it's, it, it probably is a central nervous system thing happening. The muscle fibers themselves aren't being directly stressed, but the central nervous system is constantly being trained uh, through exercise. And so you see a, a louder signal throughout the, the whole body. And so the exercises that work the whole body in you know, these big gross motor movements are probably the best at it. Another thing is these you know, like trigger sessions, which we find in, in our MAPS anabolic program, which are kind of these light, uh, low level, uh, low intensity type workout sessions you do on the days in between your hard workouts. I notice when I do trigger sessions, I'll target certain body parts and I'll I'll see the gains in those body parts, but I see gains all over also from them. And I think it, it's the trigger sessions are just sending this loud full body signal as I'm doing them frequently to to, to build keeping muscle. it alive and active. Well, yeah. if you're making the case for like the loud signal, I would I would push this person in the direction of like this is a great time to put a lot of energy and focus on your overhead press or your Z press, right? Because this it's been called the uh, you know the squat for the upper body. Mm -hmm. So if you want a loud signal to send uh, as far as related to the CNS and you can't train lower body whatsoever, um, this might be a great time to be practicing your overhead press and getting really, really good at it in hopes to you know have less atrophy happen. Totally. And then here's the other thing, of course, uh, once you heal from your energy, uh, injury, excuse me, the muscle comes back a lot faster mm -hmm. afterwards. So it's not... And I know it can be something you worry about, especially if you're super concerned with, you know, your physique. Um, you know, I've hurt myself and, and you watch my body part or whatever deteriorate. It comes back so fast. It's actually quite, it's pretty easy to get the muscle back once you had it the first time. Mm-hmm.